28 minutes that first set took. What does Paulus have to do now, Pam? Well, she's got to hope her forehand steadies down a bit. She's really spraying it around a lot, but that's going to be a tough matter because the pace from Celis is a mismatch for the forehand of Barbara Paulus. I have to hope that Monica Celis makes more unforced errors. Even with that big swing that Paulus has on the forehand, when the ball come with a lot of pace, that's why you see so many miss hits from her tonight. Casellas has said throughout the week that the one thing that she feels like she's not doing as well as she has in the past is go for the lines on the big points. And haven't been really that many big points tonight for her. She's winning so easily, but she seems to be going for the lines. That's a good sign for her. 15 all. Spin ball from Paula Sellis deciding to step in and mm -hmm. ended up hitting the ball about head level. Let's see right here on the loopy forehand, Monica moving forward. It's almost a half volley. It's above her head, and look at the angle that she rips off. End of shot, 15-30. Double break point. Pickens for Monica tonight. She is moving her feet so well. It's not the baseline where she nearly put faults the tee. Well, there's that brutal return of serve from Monica Sellis. She picks up right where she left off in the first set. Match. You just know when you pulled out that wide against Monica Sellis, you've either got to come up with a spectacular winning attempt or some more. Well, how about that? 101 up the middle there. Big serve from Monica. Sellis making Paulus do all the running so she holds after saving a couple break points. Looking around the stadium or thinking about Saturday and this most likely possible Hinga Sellis final. Well, Sellis knowing that Paul is not real comfortable at the net. She plays a very safe <laughs> shot. And need longer to recover between points. Yeah, we gotta get in shape. <laughs> Doing some good retrieving there with a the one hand. They're getting back. Yay. See you later. So 
says Monica. She's been munching on that ball all night long. She's up a set. And two breaks here. Second set. Another ace from Sellis, and let's take a look at the match update. Well, the only thing that Paulus leads in is percentages of first serve. Doesn't mean a whole lot. Many more winners for Sellis. Just a couple of more unforced errors for Paulus. But Sellis is the one that's dictating play all the time. And for her to have fewer unforced errors, even by two, is a great result for Monica Sellis. Very positive match for Monica. Missing wildly with that forehand. That was a sitter. That's exactly what Monica should be doing right now, is just continuing to build her confidence. Take... That forehand goes long, so Monica Sellis one game away from a dream matchup here at the Lipton. Sellis... Pace from Sellis. You can see Pauls with that big backswing. Team Love. There she gets a winner with that backhand. The crowd give a few cheers. I'd like to see a few more games, I think. Done since the second game of the match. 15-30. Another miss hit from Paulus. Oh, that's a tremendous angle. Going straight up the line. Match point. Oh, and a little serve and volley. A nice bender out wide. Monica Sellis, it took her only 51 minutes tonight. Big smile from her. A big smile from a lot of these fans. We'll be looking forward to Saturday's final. Monica Sellis, the four seed over Paula, 6-1, 6-love. Of course, she will take on this young Swiss sensation, Martina.